How's it going YouTube? Crypto and WO here back at it again with another dark web mystery unboxing. Got some really protective gloves over here. This is how the sides of the box look like. That's the top of the box. Actually, before I go any further, I'm gonna be removing the label from the box because some people have been trying to figure out where I live. So before I just get started, we're gonna just take off this little label over here. Yank that off the box. Now I can put on these protective gloves. We got the usual camera setup over here. We got camera number one, camera number two, camera number three right over here. So without any further hesitation, let's go ahead and get started with this dark web mystery unboxing. Wow, my chair is really low right now. I think I'm gonna raise it up. Oh, what a terrible cut. I only get one chance to cut a mystery box because once I cut it, it's open and I only can get that once on footage. So anyways, all right. Ooh, ooh, okay. So that's what the inside of the box looks like. Great, great. The first thing we have inside this box over here is this little mask. Take a look at this. My goodness. I hope the quality on this camera is fine. That ain't no superhero, I'll tell you that. Dare me to put it on? Should I just put it on? No, that's a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. Anyways, we're gonna be taking everything and we're gonna be putting it on the bottom over here. Just put it to the side. Next thing we're gonna pull out of the box over here, an avocado. It's an avocado. Thanks. I think it's an avocado. I'd be, I feel pretty damn stupid if it's not. Avocados from Mexico. Isn't like Mexico known for their guacamole? Thank you for your avocado. I don't know. The next thing we're going to pull out of the box is we have a light bulb over here. Eighty watt light bulb. I don't even know if it works to be honest. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But so far the mystery box is truly showing its worth. Worthless. So far we have that light bulb, the mask and the avocado. Just throwing everything on the floor. The next thing we're going to pull out of the box over here. I'm sorry, this keeps catching my eye and I mean that doesn't look like real blood, to be honest. Or... Uh, I'm not going to be opening this. I just wanted to take a look at it. What? That, that is a bent-up screwdriver. It's a tool. And it's bent. How the hell did that happen? Oh, sure. I can't smell anything and I really don't want to open it to smell it. Take a look at that. Anyways, I'm going to be taking it, putting this one in the garbage over here. Actually, I'm going to put it to the side and just give this one to my somebody on my team that does all the examinations. Next thing we have over here is a... Oh, shoot. Oh my god. Okay, we have a syringe in here. I don't know if this is a needle and I really don't want to play with it. Uh, to be honest, it, this could just be one of those liquid syringes, not a needle. So I'm just going to see if it's a needle because if it's a needle, I should put this down. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's a needle. Oh, shoot. Put that towards the light. Whoa. Alright. Literally, I can't even see how, how much. 0 0.7 ml of red liquid inside this needle syringe. This needle. No, it's a syringe. I don't know what the hell to call it. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this to the side. We're going to get some forensic examination on that. The next thing we're pulling out of the box over here. Oh, careful. 
We have a box cutter over here. We don't need no box cutter. We don't need no box cutter. Sponsor me. Damn, so. This one's easy to use. You know, usually when you use it, you have to like click, 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 click all the way to the bottom. This one is just easy to use. I mean, the clicking feature is good because it locks it in place. It's just annoying to rearrange. I don't know. I don't know. I'm complaining about the dumbest things right now. Doesn't look used up. We'll put it away from the light. It looks a little bit used. Pretty clean. Pretty clean, but rusty. Or I don't know if that's rust, to be honest. But we're going to take it and we're going to just close it up and put it to the side. By the way, it's just important to know that Stormy's not in the room with me right now. I'm doing this all on my own. He's not in the same room. So like, don't worry, whatever I put on the floor. The next thing we are going to pull out of the box over here. Tissue paper. Throw it to the side. Now we have a paper an origami. Oh my God. Oh my God, I've seen these growing up. It, I don't know what the heck these are called. All I remember was all the girls in school just going like this. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Just like walking up to people and going like. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is. I thought this was an origami. I don't know. I have... Just go up to people and they do this. I see it all the time. I don't know what the hell this was. So you're going to have to tell me in the comment section. Because I feel like I'm going to get bashed. Because a lot of people were doing it in elementary school. I remember this. Inside it, we have numbers. All right, so inside it, we got some numbers. All right, so the numbers are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And all right, just eight numbers. So if you open up this way, you see one, two, five, and six. If you open it up, this way you see four, seven, eight, three. Please tell me what that's called in the comment section down below because I remember what that is. It's very familiar. I just have no idea what it's called. Don't bash me for not knowing what it's called. Come on, have some respect. Got a couple of pencils in here. All right, so we have three pencils over here. Checking if there's any more. Not that I see, but poorly sharpened they have numbers on them oh these are just serial codes it says 03190195 a serial number on a pencil i don't know if that's even a serial number to be honest it just says 03190195327 03190195327 okay so that number is basically on both the pencils next thing we're gonna pull out of the box over here is this little box and fell out of it we have a piece of plastic over here i can't feel it but i'm assuming it's plastic because of the way it's dropping and how light it is these gloves are super thick we have a watch over here a gold watch i don't think it's real gold assuming the price i paid for this mystery box i'm not gonna get excited but it's nixon oh i've gotten a nixon watch that's a nice one too the time on here it is 11 Oh, it's not even moving. Wow. But it's 11.10. It's not even moving. Maybe that time signifies something. It's pretty heavy. Nixon. I got a nice gunmetal gray one for Christmas. I don't know how much they go for, but let me know if that's expensive in the comment section. I'm not, I'm just assuming it's not expensive because this is a cheap mystery box. Sorry guys, my sweater and my like sleeves are just covered in Storm's hair. Just getting everywhere right now. So pardon that. Over here we have hairband. Is that what they're called? Listen, I'm not a girl. I have sisters, but if I'm getting the name right, I'll be completely surprised. Hairband? Headband? Hairband? 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 Hair tie? Hair tie? <laughs> Hair tie! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had to sit down and think about that for a couple seconds. The next thing we have over here is a heart chain pendant. 
thingy. The reason I didn't pay that much for this mystery box is because I actually wanted to show my audience what's inside the world's cheapest mystery box. You know, I've done the world's smallest mystery box, and if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out over here on this link. But, you know, I just wanted to show my audience a really curious question. What can you get in the cheapest mystery box? This is what you get in a cheap one. Don't waste your money on it because it doesn't seem like there's anything cool inside here. We have this box over here, and it looks like a Dybbuk box, but I am not 100% sure. I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Actually, I think that is a Dybbuk box. Yeah, wax. Why is it always red wax? Okay, I guess we got another Dybbuk box. I'll open that later on because I'm not trying to make a mess over here. But if you guys wanna see me open the Dybbuk box, then let me know in the comment section. If I shouldn't open the Dybbuk box, let me know. Just say yes, Dybbuk box, or no, don't do it, crypto. Because last time I had a Dybbuk box experience, it was it was truly traumatizing. Stormy couldn't even handle it. If you haven't seen that one, please check that one out. That one is spooky. Go check it out over here. But again, yeah, we had that little heart. It's pretty damn rusted up right now. Take a good look at it. Pretty rusty and old. I don't know what it represents. I don't know what it signifies. Here's the thing. Usually people who scam off mystery boxes do it for a quick buck, but this was really, really cheap. So, because it makes me think, did he lose money? Because he had to ship it to me, you know? I, I didn't pay not a lot. I, this is the cheapest mystery box I've ever came across. So I'm not that mad, but maybe, maybe it's supposed to add up to something because I wouldn't imagine anyone paying shipping and making a Dybbuk box. I don't know what the heck these are. These are little plates, tea plates. Yeah, tea plates. We have a little teacup over here. No more teacups inside there. I paid crap all for this mystery. This is inside the mystery box too. T H -S O O O. Okay, we got a cartridge over here. Cartridge, a THC cartridge. I don't judge if you take this type of stuff, but that's not for me. But we also have these over here. Do you think the person who sent me this mystery box lost money on this? I mean, I paid $50 for the mystery box, but like $50 American makes me think, did I really lose money? The only thing really concerning about this is this one over here, but this one I'm gonna get it checked out from the forensics team because like over here on this side, it's like light, light red, but it looks like it says something. It looks like a marker almost, but this side is like dark red. Sticky, sticky dark red. I'm not opening it. I'm not opening it. No, no. New. The next thing we have inside here is geez, a clock. So we had a watch and a clock, and are they at the same time? Looks like they're at the same time. I thought maybe, maybe they're the same time. Oh, never mind. This one here is seven minutes to eleven. This one here is ten after eleven. So seven minutes to 11, 10 minutes after 11. So that's a 17 minute time difference. I don't know what the heck these are. I'm trying to play detective a lot more guys in my videos. I'm really, really trying to not be oblivious anymore. Like I really, really look at the things and try to come up with something. And it's been working a lot more better instead of like just giving up really early on. But this one, I'm gonna give up really early on because they're really pointy. I don't know. I don't know. Can you please let me know in the comment section for this one, guys? Because I'm at a complete loss right now. I'm just going to confirm. Oh, we have another pencil in here. I'm going to confirm that this is a Dybbuk box, but give me one second. 031-901-953-287. Yep, same number on it. I'm just going to confirm that this is a Dybbuk box. That's the bottom of it. Sides of it. Top of it. Give you guys a little close up over here. Let me know in the comment section if I should open this Dybbuk box because I hated my last experience. But the more I get traumatized on camera, the more my audience enjoys it. So um, there are people that do want to see it, but I'm kind of going to go on a majority rules type of thing. Like if more people want to see it, then I'm definitely going to post a part two of me going through this Dybbuk box over here. But if more people don't want to see it, then I'll keep it closed. I'll keep it closed and I won't have it open. The thing we have inside here is... We have an iPod. This is a little ankle or arm elbow pad, elbow thing. Like, well, I don't know what their elbow support. 
maybe a knee support, but I'm more concerned about the iPod. We have an iPod over here. No freaking way. I'd be highly surprised if this thing works. Seven oh nine. It's not seven oh nine right now. I'll tell you that it's freaking late. Thursday, January sixteenth. Okay. Okay. So it's not working with my gloves on, but we have an iPod. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna take off my gloves. It works. not connect my wi-fi finish setting up your wi-fi to be honest guys i'm okay with an ipod i'm okay with it meaning like i don't want the ipod if you guys want this ipod i'm gonna be doing a little giveaway with the ipod i know it's not like the best thing any youtuber has ever given away but at least it's a real giveaway if you guys want to join the giveaway for this little ipod over here i don't really need it to be honest but if you guys want to join the giveaway then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and go ahead and comment down below my favorite part was and then timestamp your favorite part just so i can easily search it up you don't have to put on the notification bell if you don't want to and you don't have to like the video because i can't check these things there's a lot of youtubers that do giveaways saying like oh subscribe to the channel smash the like button put on the notification bell and you won't win unless you put on the notification bell let me tell you the secret right now there is no way a YouTuber will know if you put on the notification bell or not, or if you liked the video or not. But we can tell if you subscribed or not, and we can tell if you commented or not. So uh, for me to pick the winner of the giveaway, I, you guys have to subscribe. I have to find the winner. So subscribe to the channel and comment on the video. And good luck in the giveaway, guys. I hope you win. Anytime in the future where you see a giveaway of someone saying like, hey, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button and put on the notification bell so I'm, I can find you, that's a lie because we have no idea. There's no tool to utilize who liked your video or who put on the notification bell. Keep that in your mind. So again, you don't have to put on the notification bell. You don't have to like the video if you don't want to. But if you want to, that would be highly appreciated. But to join the giveaway, you would have to subscribe and you would have to comment. So... Good luck. The next thing we have in the box over here is a flip phone. It's a flip phone. Oh, a camera phone, a flip phone, a burner phone. 3G world phone. Oh my God. Oof. Oof. We're going to have to buy a charger for this and see what is on this. There's a battery in here. There's no power button on it. Bluetooth, volume. I'm pretty sure back in the day we had to hold the red button. I don't know if that's still a thing. No, it doesn't turn on. Burner phone? Doesn't work. But we're gonna, I'm definitely gonna be getting a charger for this. I'm gonna be looking up exactly what model phone this is. I'm gonna be finding a charger, paying, I don't know, what, 20 bucks, 30 bucks for the charger. Doesn't matter because we gotta make a video about it. If there's anything worth it. If there's not anything worth it, I'm gonna be leaving an update for you guys on my community page. But burner phones from the dark web are definitely a checkout. It even has its own little camera button on it. Oh, that's so cute. It's like you wanted to take a picture, you had to like, whoocha, camera button click the next thing we have inside the box over here is a little glasses piece broken glasses oh this is definitely a garbage box <laughs> i mean i thought this was a garbage box until the ipod came in this person definitely lost money with a working ipod this is definitely a dark web box that they want me to figure out what all this stuff means so this isn't garbage this stuff most definitely most definitely has a purpose before i do the giveaway for the ipod by the way i guess i'm going to be going through the pictures and all the other stuff on the ipod because i didn't do that yet i literally just opened it turned it on went to the settings so i'm going to be going through the ipod see if there's any pictures and i'll make another video about it but not in this video and then after i'm done that i'll give away the ipod early february if you're watching this video and it's like late january or early february you still have a chance to join the giveaway the next thing we have over here is a candle for a birthday cake the number one It's all sparkly and now the sparkles are getting on my fingers. Thank you. Thank you, kind gentlemen. The next thing we're going to pull out of the box over here is a belt. I'm going to lay it down on my table so I can give you guys a super quick overhead shot. Interesting. By the way, if you haven't seen my last uh, kinky mystery box, <laughs> I learned a really new interesting thing about myself. But we have a couple more things inside this box. We have a little bag over. 
okay that's 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 the funny stuff right here so we have an ipod a burner phone a dybbuk box shipping prices all of this for the price of 50 us dollars oh this person definitely wants me to solve a mystery over here working ipod the next thing yeah this is this is the funny stuff that's the funny stuff right here okay again so that's this we had that little cartridge over there from before and now we have we have this over here oh boy again my gloves are off because I just wanted to show you guys this on camera. By the way, do you guys notice that I'm not blurring stuff in my videos anymore? Look. Look. Ta-da. Given that I'm not going to be blurring stuff in my videos anymore, I'm definitely not going to be showing it for long. So that's that's the that's the that's the catch. We got a drill bit in here. And we got another one of those hair ties, hair bands, whatever you want to call it. That's all that's inside the mystery box over here. So I want you guys to go through all of the stuff that you see over here. Make sure you, if you want to join the giveaway for this iPod touch over here, then you go ahead and do that. Damn, it's not even, that's not even bad quality camera. You guys can make YouTube videos with this. Damn, damn. Pretty cool. But that's all for the video. That's all for the mystery box. If you guys enjoyed that video, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Put on the notification bell and smash that like button only if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, go ahead and put the dislike button down. That's absolutely fair. But thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the future. And remember, stay off the dark web. Oh, hey, what's up? Um, you want a shout out from me? Go follow me on Twitter at CryptoNWO with a K and you just might get a shout out. Here's 100 people that liked my last tweet. Shout out to Ellen Denise Jackson. Morgan Jackson. Shout out to Anton Farrington. Shout out to at Icy Mew. Shout out to at Lilu1986. Shout out to Pearl Sue. Shout out to Lee Goldbrock. Shout out to at Cat City. Cassidy. Shout out to at the Game Boy M. Shout out to at Sir Pancakes21. Brings World. Shout out to Ness Morgan. Yo, Dandy. Shout out to you. Shout out to Lauren Moore. Mod Russell Reddy Narmeen Satiria Shout out to at the doctor underscore who 12 Shout out to Frankie Hope Miranda Lynn Tracy Felgen Shout out to Tessa Shout out to at Hamza Mami 10 Shout out to at Baby Joe Shout out to Katie Dunn Bree Bart Shout out to at that little Shout out to Sergio Garcia Angel Christina Liz Carter Allison Snow Shout out to Emma Shout out to at Assy Works Shout out to Lena's Little Regal or Lana's Little Regal Indian Memer Shout out to you Catherine Gray Ellie Damien Skeen Hannah Singhoffer Junior Gong By the way, don't be surprised if I butchered half of those names, but I'm done. That's all. That's all I got. <laughs> if you guys want to shout out from me, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at crypto NWO with a K and like my next tweet whenever I post it. So it's probably going to be this video. Good luck to the people that want to shout out in the next video. I'm rooting for you. By the way, don't make fun of me for wearing a jacket right now. I'm freezing in my house. The heater is off and it's winter time. It's really late. So thanks for watching. Make sure you join the giveaway. That battery is really low. I'll, I'll send it to you with a full battery if you win. I'll make sure it has a full battery. <laughs> I won't torture you like that.